What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I just want to let you guys know some. We're going to talk about my mom's cat today. This is Novara. She was named after a restaurant made by jo uh, created by Jordan Knight and his restaurant's called Novara. So, oh, that was my phone. So today, we're going to talk about them. I downloaded an app to see what kind of breed she was, and it, she is an aging cat. Their activity-ness is pretty high. Their intelligence is through the roof. Curiosity, eh, about, about average. Friendliness, pretty friendly. Uh, this one's a little psychotic, but she's pretty cute. Take a look. Movie. Look at the camera. Ain't she cute? All right, and their vocals, they're pretty loud. I mean, if you wake up, if, like, I posted a thing on Facebook and said the Novar alarm. You just go up and touch her or whatnot or pet her. She'll go, row, row, at the top of her lungs. So, anyways, as you can see, right there, activeness, intelligence, curiosity, friendliness, and vocal. So what I'm going to talk about is I'm going to go through all of this, well, summarizing it, but I'm going to tell you a little bit. Aging cats have an athletic body and are medium-sized. Their heads are broad and their tail and body are long. Their eyes are generally shaped oriental while their ears are wide. So that's why she's able to run everywhere and drive everybody nuts. And they, they sleep half the day and the rest of the night they're they're up and they're going wild and playing with things even though they were systematically bred just recently so a new breed which are most common all over the world now they're all over YouTube and this one we're just lucky to have her they have quickly adapted to the environment this is because they have been domesticating this type of cat for centuries and they have well adapted alongside humans. So that's pretty neat. Living with a little psychotic kitten named Novara running all over the house. Aging cats are highly affectionate and loyal. They will bond with a one person consider him or her special and follow that person around they like cuddling but they are not too demanding they are also vocal they like long talks with their owners which is pretty common for this one because she just likes to do her own little thing why don't you face the camera? You camera shy? They are best alongside older children. Younger children are not advised to be owners of this breed because toddlers may give rough handling. Most are friendly towards strangers. If you have small animals in your home, you may think twice about owning an Asian cat. There are natural born hunters and killers. So that's why they like to claw and bite. That's why they get their psychoticness. So we're gonna put this down and we're gonna show you some of her features. Excuse me just a second. I don't know why. Every time I try to get out of that app it does that. Okay so first off we're going to have Novara stand up. All right, we're going to move this over here. Let's see, where can I do this at? About right here. We're going to pick her up. We're going to set her on the ca uh, table and have the camera view her. So, move this.
Come on, Navarro. She was just up earlier. So this is her face. She's got nice yellow eyes. Look at the camera. The camera. Nice yellow eyes. She's got those nice ears and the, and the stripe pattern on their head. Most every cat I've seen has that. She's got a little bit of a collar going around here. And the most interesting is this, this gray pattern that runs down her back. It's so beautiful. And if you look closely, they're almost like porcupine quills or something like that. Some of these cats, it's okay. They got short tails, but most of them are pretty long. And she's still pretty much a kitten. She got spayed and her little wound isn't healing and I touched it and it smells disgusting. And she's, she's gonna grow up to be a beautiful cat. She likes getting to mischief. Like, for instance, she'll climb from the bottom of this tower, climb all the way up to the top, and then climb on the curtains and walk along the drapings. And then pretty soon she'll just plummet right there. So, she's a good cat. Uh, we have a little baby in the house, but they seem to get along just fine. So, it's, it's very nice to have this little thing of energy. And she's supposed to be an indoor cat. She gets out a lot through that door. That's the back door. Uh, we have it gated off so she can't run away or nothing. But you have to be careful and keep looking behind you because if you open that door even for a second, she'll dart out like a bullet. That's the nickname we gave her was Bullet. So, as you heard, they were hunters and killers, so I'm going to show you. She's, she doesn't seem like she's in the pouncing mood. But even when I'm sleeping, she'll she'll see my fingers moving or whatnot. When I'm sleeping, she'll decide to go up and claw and bite at it. It's pretty pretty bad. That's kind of how I I got this and that one. She thought my arm was a toy when I was sleeping, so she decided to go and attack it. But otherwise, she's a good cat, and she loves to cuddle sometimes. I'm going to post a video of her, just like when she was a kitten. Just, she was sleeping on the bed, and her head went, thump, just right on the bed. And here's another fact about this one. It says here that aging cats have an average lifespan about 15 years. They are a very hardy breed but can still be susceptible to common feline alignments. I think it says ailments. However only the usual ones affect them as they were relatively isolated from their dis... Uh, whatever. Domesticated. I can't read today, guys. So feel free to put a dislike on the video since most of you do. And say goodbye to little Noby. Navara! Say bye!